everybody is a somebody because life is a miracle. Love it. Because yes, so, you I'm you choose the poem. Today. All you have to do is tell me a title of a poem, or if it's a prose part, just tell me a first line. Wow. So you wrote all of these poems? Absolutely. Those are my photos to celebrate New York City. And that old book tells a story from the perspective of a very poetic vendor who sells his books in the streets of Manhattan. Known him my whole life. <laughs> So it's a super meta type of a book, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, you want to hear that? That one I get redo both pages. How about on this curb every day, too? Got it. So a stage on Broadway. How about oh, that? I'll start on page 10. Because y'all are in this one. You believe me? I do I'll believe start, you. I'll start on page 10. I'll do both pages. I'm out on this curb every day. <laughs> While the thronging masses are passing, I just keep asking. If any would like to hear a poem then on some very rare occasions someone will step out of the shuffling crowd and walk directly up to me and say yes then I just open up my life and let all the poetry pour forth from me vendors are cooking at every corner the stores are filled with silk and satin who could ever call me poor if I can afford to stroll through Manhattan, I can wander forever on these streets. The parks are filled with trees and flowers, and the moon's not too far out of reach when I see it touched by the tips of these towers. I'm out on Times Square most every night. Library has every book I can read. And although I might not reach Rockefeller Heights, you can hear me performing on the streets. I don't have a billboard or an agent, not far from being a millionaire, but they say, location, location. So I put my sign up in Times Square. I'm out on 43rd most every day. Every moment of my life is showtime. I got a stage right on Broadway. I put my little stand up beneath the street sign. How did he do? I think he did all right. Word for, right. Word for yeah, word? Great, word for word. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's look so on cool. page 31. You see the speaker. Y'all seen him around town. Tells the whole story. So when you write a poem, do you instantly have it memorized, or does it take oh, you no, some no, time? I got to work at it. I rehearse this every day. Every day. Yeah, you see? Yeah. <laughs> now, look on page 30. He's one of my fans. Now, you see how he's frozen with captivation? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he loves That's my awesome. Work. That's he really gives cool. me kind of cold reception sometimes. Huh? <laughs> so I read him poetry till he melted down. <laughs> what is that, about March, April, somewhere hey, in there? Well, I already he's helping out at the ice skate ring now. Ah. So he's doing well. He already <laughs> manages a <the> place. <laughs> <laughs> well, he knows a thing or two about ice. Yeah, exactly. That's amazing. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Yeah, I used to be able to recite a lot more. I can do a couple from this book. Oh, you want to hear one of my new funny ones? Yeah. So satires... This one is called Good Luck. No one can say my life is not a work of art when every day I am performing in the park and while I am engaged in my promotion work by giving recitations of my romantic verse, a cooing crowd will gather as pigeons try remaking my hat and clothes in two, a Jackson Pollock painting. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> they say it's good luck. <laughs> Has a pigeon ever shit on you right during that poem? No, no, no. Oh, that would be so poetic. That'd be amazing. Oh, the key thing is, is I, I learned is you don't look up, you look down. Yeah. So there's lots of marks on the sidewalks. Like don't stand there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wise man once said. Yeah. <laughs> then that one, that's another one of my poetic pictorials too. That's the, 40, the 56 Leonard Street building. And yeah. I used 40 of my photos of that building to illustrate it. Do you so, take the pictures? Yeah, it's all my photos. I used a filter on those. That old book is told from the perspective of an architect. He's a narcoleptic, so he doesn't know if he's asleep or if he's awake. He doesn't know if he's dreaming reality or if reality's a dream. And I use it to illustrate how we live in ideas. 
all of these constructs surrounding us were originally conceived within the imagination before they were fabricated into reality. And architecture itself is an art form that we live and work within. So it has the functionality of utility and aesthetics. You just speaking naturally, you sound like you're writing poetry. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. I just have, I like the musical quality of language and the sequences of sounds and the rhythms and cadence and the colloquial voice. Are you originally from New York City? No, I'm from Alabama. No, yeah. I didn't think you had a New York accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up in Alabama. In 1992, I jumped on a coal train. I left. Hitchhiked around the country for a year. I wrote a book on that. Then I lived on the West Coast like about 14 years, and then I've been in New York about 13 years. I go back to see my parents all the time, or as much as I can in Alabama. Right on. What did you do before this? Well, I've been writing most all my life. And, but of course, poetry, you can't make a living off of. So I always supported myself with jobs and I've done all kinds of stuff. Parked cars, flipped hamburgers, worked in catering, canned salmon in Alaska, done construction, sold mattresses. I, I don't even know how many jobs What I was the best one of those other jobs that you did to support your poetry habit? Well, I can't, I didn't really like any of them. And so, <laughs> it was, I mean, I was grateful to have the jobs, but I always looked at it as just a way to pay my bills so I could write and study. Yeah. And so it was just something that I had to endure. But also, it, it always felt like my life was just being torn in half every day. But I really, as my life pursued divergent directions, but I also realized too, that as I was being torn apart through those different obligations, it was giving me more space to grow too. So, and I found all, that all those jobs in the past, many of those jobs in the past, have been excellent material upon which I write too. There you so, go. So, I've written quite a number of books about my previous jobs. I think we should get that. I think we should. You want to buy that one? Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah, that was $20 outside of your Perfect. Christmas. And I can use Venmo, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that's the only... Up. Yeah, it'll come up. Poet in the Park. With my little swarm. Okay, I'm going to see if it I'm really proud of my little swan I made. <laughs> That's beautiful. You drew yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just simple designs I make, nice. like these. These yeah. are like these. Yeah. They did all these. They're just circles, squares, in the park. triangles, and rectangles. This is one of the most elaborate ones. Twenty, right? Yeah, twenty dollars. And so this was. Oh, that was the first one. It's probably the best. I probably should have stopped there. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, these are some of my dance poems. I'm a big fan of ballet. And this was one that I sell portraits, but you see here I've changed it a little bit. This is when I started. This is when I was really shy. So I'm talking now. Yeah, you're not at all shy. I can't imagine you being shy. Uh, uh, I'm just yeah. I'm just a poet. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, I got a sign up for you. Well, oh, he's going to sign from? it. Y'all live in New York? No, we live in Charlottesville, Virginia. Oh, wow. We come up here to see shows and take yeah. in some art and some of this. Just, we missed yeah, this. Yeah, from, I went to Fort Union. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Right by Charlottesville. Yep, sure enough. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great school. You know, they got little, those little stickers that you put on the backs of cars for Fort Union that say F you. Oh, oh, really? Oh, no. Yes, they do. <laughs> it's a great place. <laughs> it's, it's all about honor, respect, and duty. Learned some of the best lessons of my life there. That's where I started writing poetry, too. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and who shall I sign it for? Uh, sign it for Kiki and JR. Everybody is a somebody because life is a miracle. Love it. And thank you so much. Get a bonus poem. A bonus poem. Yeah. All right. And my highly professional business card. Perfect. Love it. Thank you so Thank much. You, Thank you, Thank you, JR. Thank you, Garrett. You were a pleasure. So glad you were out here today. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy the shows y'all go to, too. I'm going to put you on my YouTube channel. I appreciate it. It's called What Is It About You? Oh, okay. You yeah. told us. You told us what it is about yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope people enjoy it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, you're Have a great rest of your day.